what is going on guys welcome back to another android application development video in android studio in this video we are going to learn how to connect android studio application to the firebase manually if you want to learn how to connect automatically you can check out another video that link i will provide in the description box so let's get started with new android studio project create a new project select empty activity and click on next give the application name i am giving here my application select the language as java and minimum sdk as. click on finish our project is loaded successfully so to connect firebase we'll go to google for firebase so click on the firebase so here you have to log in with your google account then click on get started click on create a project so we have to give the project name you can give any project name for now i am giving my application continue so here it is asking to enable google analytics so i will enable google analytics and click on continue here you have to select an account select default account for firebase click on create project so it will take some seconds to create the project so our project is ready you can click on continue so this is the firebase console you have to click on android over here if you are doing for android so we are doing for android let's click on android now you have to register your app that you have created over here so i will register the app for that we need package name nickname is optional and sha signing certificate is optional so we will add all those so for package name go to android studio manifest android manifest and from here copy your package name and paste it in package name app nickname you can give my application and sha certificate we have to add so we'll go back to android studio you can click on gradle over here here you should have the task option if task option is not there go to settings over here gradle settings experimental and uncheck this option then click on sync gradle file so as you can see task option is now available so expand it inside android we have signing report click on it here you can see sha1 certificate so copy this certificate and paste it over here now you can click on register app so first step is done now you have to download google service.json so i will click on download once it is downloaded copy it from here and go to your android studio you can minimize these things here instead of android select the project instead of android select project go to your application in app folder select the app folder and paste over here the name should be google services.json click on ok so here google services.json is added go back to the firebase console click on next now we have to add the dependency for google services so i will add this dependency in project level build.gradle so let's go to project level build.gradle so go over here we have selected project first select the android gradle script this is project level build.gradle so click on this here we have to add the dependency so from here only we need this dependency so let's copy this class path and here if you already have this build script and dependency you can add directly this line but i don't have i will add this build script dependencies and inside dependency i will paste that now we have added project level dependency now we have to add app level dependency that is this plugin so let's copy this plugin over here go to your app level build.gradle and inside plugin paste that if here it is id you have to give this also as a id if here is apply plugin you have to give this as apply plugin so i have id so i will give as id and click on sync now so our project is sync you can close all this go back over here we have already clicked on sync now click on next you can click on continue to console so that's it now our application is connected to firebase we can see that my application is over here and also you can use any of these features so to test our application i will use firestore database for now create a database i will start in test mode next you can choose any location enable it 
so as you can see my database is created so let's go to the app and write some code go to main activity I will write code over here for fire restore so firebase fire restore so here you have to add the dependency for fire restore so let's click on add dependency and import give the name fire restore and I will add a simple data to this so I'll create a map users map I will create import it now I'll add a data to users map so first name I will add as easy last name tuto description I will add subscribe now this data I will add to fire restore database so for that fire restore dot collection I will create a collection of users dot add the user map we created just now dot add on success listener so after success we want to print something so adds on success listener I will implement new on success listener so here you can add like toast dot make text success dot show we will show the toast after success also you can add on failure listener if it is failed to add so on add on failure listener same toast I will copy I will write failure so also I have to initialize the fire restore so before adding any data firebase fire restore dot get instance so I have to initialize this now you can run the application and test let's run the application from here I will select app and run it so our application is running so it showed the success message it means our data is uploaded so let's check on the firebase console here reload this page as you can see in my fire restore I have this user collection you can expand it and here you can see subscribe easy and tuto so in this way we have also tested that our app is connected to the fire restore and we can add data also so this is all about how to connect Android Studio app to the Firebase manually. So if you want to learn how to connect automatically, I have separate video provided the link in the description. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any doubts and queries, please comment below. I will reply for you. See you in the next video. Bye bye.